<laughs> all right guys this is going to be a nighttime autopilot video my good mate adam from tesla straya does this all the time whenever a new software update drops he does do an extended autopilot testing i have added links to his video to the top right corner i did get 2020.28.5 on the last day that the car was here with me in Wollongong. as you guys know i sent this car off to canberra where it's going to be stationed for an extended period of time and is going to be available for hire via ab.com.au please do visit www.teslaindagong.com forward slash car hyphen sharing for more details and I have that link in the description of this video as well. So what do you get with 2020.28.5? Well, it's a small improvement in the traffic light and stop sign control. Now you can go 10 kilometers per hour over the speed limit that is about 5 miles over the speed limit. Otherwise there's a language support but that's about all. But in this video I've done an extended testing of the traffic light stop sign control on Wollongong roads. Let's see how this goes. I put the car on autopilot and that blue flashing light is the car telling me to keep a firm pressure on the steering wheel. This is not autonomous driving guys, so be careful. Right, the first scenario is not unusual. This is how traffic aware cruise control works. My Model 3 is able to recognize the car in front of it. It slows down. Although it can recognize the traffic lights right about here, it does stop because of the car in front of it and not because of the traffic lights. Now once the traffic light turns green right here, you can see that the car is responsive and it recognizes that traffic light change as well. Now watch this, there's another set of traffic lights coming right about here and as soon as the car sees that, it gives me that warning saying that it's going to stop. I override it by pressing that right stop down and the car goes across and here I'm of course changing lanes as well. Really sweet, really sweet indeed. Now watch this scenario guys, you can see that there's another traffic light coming ahead, the traffic light is still green, the car gives me a warning said that it's going to stop and I'm overriding that by pressing the stop down but the traffic light turns red after I gave that command to override. Now the car did come to a stop because it recognized that red light, it will not overshoot that line and the car will come to a stop. Pretty darn cool. Alright one more time, you can see that the car recognizes the traffic light well ahead of time gives me that warning, press on that right side stock and now the car passes across that traffic light without any problems because the traffic lights are green at this time. Pretty cool isn't it? And even with autopilot activated the car is really responsive, it is able to recognize the traffic lights perfectly and it stops right on cue just like on traffic aware cruise control. Now the car cannot take right or left turns at this time but on the Q2 earnings call Elon Musk said that by the end of this year the car will do that too so I'm really excited about that. Now this is not something new, we've seen this in our cars for a fair number of months now, the way it changes lanes, but this animation and the way that the car does it still blows my mind. The next part of this video is going to be predominantly unedited with me driving through Wollongong streets with traffic, light visualization and autopilot turned on for most parts. As you guys all know, I come from the Model X and Model S family of cars because that is my daily driver. This Model 3 is a community facing project and this is out for hire via ab.com.au. More details are in the top right corner of this video. Okay, this one is not new but uh, it's quite nice. Look at that stop sign, stop sign, it does stop exactly there. And then you can override it but I'm going to do a manual uh, drive at this time. Now I have autopilot on. It's negotiating that turn quite beautifully. I must say this hardware 3.0 is really good. So it's stopping for lights. I can override it by pressing the, uh, the, the stop down. And then now I can keep driving forward and the autopilot will take over at this time. It's a green light. It's beautifully rendered. I'm really impressed with this. Again, coming from the Model X and Model S family of cars where they have hardware 2.5. This hardware 3.0 is leaps and bounds better uh, in the way it recognizes and renders all this. It's really cool. I'm trying to keep the speed within reasonable limits. A few interesting things that I've noticed there's a difference between the Model X and Model S. Um, the, the drive quality is a little better the model 3 because the car is really nimble this, the small steering wheel really helps as well and see the roundabout is coming up and saying stopping for roundabout in 75 meters 25 meters there not bad at all i'm going to drive manually from here because i'm a little worried 
I'm not really used to letting the car drive around the roundabout. I've tried a few roundabouts before I did this video, not very impressed, so I'm still just going to stick with the um, manual driving. Now let's go to autopilot again, the 60 road, and coming up in front of me, there is a red light, and I'm going to wait and see how long takes for the car to yeah there there you go it recognizes it's turning to green there you see it's turned green there i'm going to override by pressing the stop down that warning light goes away and the car starts moving and inching forward there's a car in front of me let's say um a four by four uh youth in front of me so that is recognized there and now the car is just doing a following uh action so it's just following the other car in front of me so that's what's happening here now if i want to go and change the lane all i have to do is press this stop down i'm an autopilot that symbol comes up and it changes the lane quite beautifully there's still a 60 road i'm going to keep within speed limits there's another traffic light coming right about now you can see that you can see that it'll stop now the car will now stop immaterial of whether I, uh, I i if it's green or not it'll stop so i'm going to press the stock and now it's going through the green lights because it's green one more light coming up very nice place one more time Pressing stock, the warning is going gone away. Oh, that was that, that was that was dangerous. The stock, the warning is going gone away. Oh, that was that, that was that was dangerous. It just tried to move the other lane for no reason at all. One more light. Pressing the stock down, warning goes away, and the car keeps going forward. Guys, the time now is 11:05 p.m. No cars on the road. I'm being very safe. Um, so. Be safe when you try these. These are still in beta. They are not autonomous driving yet, so be careful. Now the car is not an autopilot. It is in uh, traffic aware cruise control or TAC. Traffic lights come up. Although it's green, now I'm pressing down to override that and I'm now driving through. So this is not autopilot, but this is traffic aware cruise control. Speed limit is 70, so I just have to run the scroll wheel up, the right hand side scroll wheel up and change, this, change that to 70. Do you see what happened there? That was actually a, a level crossing or a railway crossing. I thought it was a traffic light. And because I had pressed that stock, I thought I was overriding that and it went forward. Although it's 11.05 and there's barely a car on the road, I do not like to overspeed. I'm trying to keep to the speed limits. That is a place to test uh, the speed of the car and the agility of the car. This is not the place, the public road is not the place, so try and be as good as possible. There you go, one more time, traffic lights coming up. I'm going to press the stock and override this warning, I'm waiting to see if it turns red. Oh dear, it didn't turn red. Because if it turns red, even though I press the stock down to override the warning, the car does stop. That is the cool part. There's a pro tip if you're running low on uh, battery charge, but still it's a cold day. Instead of turning on the hatchback, you can just use the heater of the seats, which is more than sufficient to warm the car as well. It's really good. It's a pro tip. It's really helped me multiple times. Okay. I'm going to override that warning. Oh, it's still green. Dear, dear. Oh, there you go. That is one more time that autopilot is, is behaving badly. Now, in the Model X and Model S, this does not happen. Because hardware 2.5 is more optimized, hardware 3.0 is slowly being optimized, so I guess it takes a while for it to do um, what the hardware 2.5 does. But even so, I'm still impressed with the rendering, the speed with which it recognizes all the um, traffic symbols. You see this this line, this arrow mark on the, on the uh, last lane there saying that there's no more left lane. And it's going to become a single lane very beautifully rendered i'm already very impressed with the car doing uh, what elon musk says this is a 3d version where it it has uh, it only looks at static images and he says the 4d version where the new fsd software is being developed ground up that is going to be a 4d version where it will be recognizing video format or a motion picture as we as we understand it that's going to be um, orders of magnitude better. I'm using Elon's term there, orders of magnitude better. Really impressive. I'll just adjust this video just a bit so that you can see the screen better. 
there you go you can see that roundabout come up there and the car will stop so i'm not going to intervene i'm going to wait for it and see what happens the car actually comes to a standstill right there and you see that red line okay now i'm going to drive manually there's nobody behind me it's a safe place late at night so i'm trying out all these features now double tap again but cancel this let's see what it'll do it's an 80 road i stay at 80. the speed with which it renders all of these road signs and all of that is really cool it doesn't read road signs yet um, that's because of a patent troll called mobile eye let me let me not go into that part um, I get quite peeved when I talk about it, so I'm not going to talk about it right now. Where patent trolls are stopping innovation coming through, but that's the world we live in. Okay, again, autopilot again. There's no cars behind me, no cars in front of me. It's a 50 road, stay 50. And there is a traffic light coming up. I really want to check that red light coming on, so I want to override it. Override. Now, there's another traffic light coming up, but there is a right road which it has a red light to it. Will the car keep going straight or will it stop? Okay, it thinks that it is the right, it's still the green light. In the previous version, it wouldn't do it. Now, I'm going to override that warning as well. There's one more traffic light that's come up. So, in the previous ver version, it wouldn't do it. It will uh, recognize or it will think that the, the right red light is for itself and stop the car, but now, 2020.28.5 keeps going. Not bad at all. One more override. Keep going. Oh, see, look at that. Look at that. That's what I thought I, I, I told you about. So even in this one, it does do it now and again. So this is why you have to be careful. So there was a red light. Uh, which was the uh, red light for the cars turning right it thought that this that red light is for uh, for us now that is important to to be aware of okay one more traffic light coming up i overrode the traffic warning i'm hoping that this turns red oh, it doesn't come on i really was hoping Just turn here and come back onto the other road and uh, test this again. I really want to show you that when you override the um, green light warning, stop sign beautifully recognized there. So when you override that um, uh, traffic light warning and the traffic light turns red from green after you override the warning the car still stops there you go there is a traffic light coming up i'm overriding that by pressing it down still in green i oh, didn't turn red oh man okay another traffic light coming up override i'm, I'm having an absolutely lucky day <laughs> i didn't have to jump any lights Come on, what is happening here? Now, if I want to emulate, you know, another YouTube superstar, uh, Bjorn, I have to say, she. <laughs> okay, one more green light. Come on. That's all, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Now, I tried to keep most parts of this video as unedited and as raw as possible it's quite unlike what i usually produce because i wanted to give you a real world scenario as to what is happening with regards to autopilot traffic light visualization 
and all of these features that Elon Musk is promising us. As you can see, I am a believer. We're not there yet, but I'm sure we'll get there by the end of this year. If you like what I'm doing, please do click on that subscribe button and leave a comment below so that I can make more such videos for you to watch. Until we meet again, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong signing off. Peace.